Welcome back, I'm Bob Massey, the property man. I've been given the opportunity to go behind the gates of Alworth, one of Central Florida's most exclusive communities and a place where cameras are usually not allowed. I get a lot of emails from people saying, Bob, why are you showing us these multi-million dollar homes that most people could never afford? Well, here's a few reasons. First, they're just amazing to look at and something that most of us will normally never get to see. And two, if you're buying or selling a home, whether it's worth $200,000 or 20 million, you can learn a lot from seeing how these luxury listings are showcased and how they handle them. I asked Mark Hayes, president of Alworth and Stockworth Realty, to show me around. Alworth was a citrus producing operation for several decades before golf legend Arnold Palmer uncovered its potential for a world-class golf course and country club. This land was protected by the surrounding chain of lakes, which produced some of the best oranges. So it became known as the Isle of Worth. And then Arnold Palmer, who wanted to build the best golf course in the world, located this to build his ultimate golf experience. In 1993, the billionaire investor Joe Lewis and Tavistock reimagined Isleworth by constructing magnificent estates. Isleworth is home to celebrities like NBA legend Shaquille O'Neal and multiple members of the PGA Tour. And the place, let me tell you, it is immaculate. They like to say that the leaves get picked up before they hit the ground. It's a 600 acre luxury community. Uh, we like to say, you know, we provide anything, anytime. Alworth is comprised of 320 luxury homes, ranging from 20,000 square foot, multi-million dollar lakefront lots to more modestly sized golf course villas. One of those lakefront lots holds the property they call the Bermudan. This 13,519 square foot home sits on more than two acres and has seven bedrooms and nine and a half bathrooms. Bob, this home is a love story. Media mogul Rance Crane took his bride to Bermuda for a honeymoon, fell in love with the architecture. He hired the world-renowned architect Taylor and & Taylor and gave them one task, build me a home and keep me on my honeymoon forever. <laughs> and he did. And he did. Well, let's go look at this home. Bob, the first thing you notice is just the fabulous walnut herringbone floors with the inlaid hand-painted marquetry, modeled after a Vanderbilt estate in Newport, Rhode Island. When you walk in, though, you feel like there's a sense of history, and you, could, you really could feel the memories in, in this type of home. It's so beautiful. Looking up here at the, you know, the stairway and the, all the details. The second floor has three guest rooms and a children's bedroom that will be any kid's dream. The room is a painted forest with custom-built log cabin furniture, including two bunk beds, fiber optic sparkling stars in the ceiling, and a sound system that plays chirping noises, frogs, and jungle sounds. The stunning library features a full bar, ceiling-high wine cellar, temperature-controlled closet, floor-to-ceiling bookcases, and a secret hidden panel with access to the master bedroom. You'll notice the high ceilings, just the amazing hand-carved woodwork on the doorways. This room is unbelievable. Crystal chandeliers everywhere, candles on the walls. This looks like where heads of state would meet. Absolutely. It, it, uh, and as you said, probably have. Yeah. The kitchen has a beautiful barrel ceiling made of Chicago brick and antique French market counter with original ironwork. Every room stands on its own, with its own character, with its own personality, and its own memory. Absolutely, absolutely. And something else you'll notice is as we walk down this hallway, we have a view of the lake almost from every room. This property sits on 300 feet of lakefront on Lake Butler and overlooks the 14th fairway of Alworth Country Club. Two covered terraces, a heated pool and grotto style spa, shimmering waterfall, and a private boat dock coming out to one of the most extraordinary views on all of Lake Butler. Oh, this is beautiful. We are right across from the world famous Bird Island where dozens and dozens of different species of bird attracts a lot of visitors. Mm -hmm. World class bass fishing. And this deck easily holds several hundred people, but if it was just four of you, it would still feel very cozy. People refer to this area as the Blue Lagoon. I feel so. that, I feel that. <laughs> and private. Up next, the Massey Memo, with information you can't afford to miss. Stick around.